<laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 21 of the PT Central podcast. It's our 21st birthday today. High five. Woo. It's like when you get your child to 21st birthday, you're like, I kept it alive for this long. Party. I did it. I can get someone through. Yeah. Uh, so it's number 21 and today we're talking, being a Wednesday, about mindset and what um, what is basically limiting you. So there's always the biggest, the fears and the challenges, right? And mm. you can see yourself in the future. You have this vision. It's way over there. You want to achieve it, but you're stuck back here. There's a gap, right? A gap between where you are now and your reality. And for a lot of people, that gap is too big to cross. Like, it's mm. scary. Like, who knows what's going to happen from point A to point B. Think of the Grand Canyon, mm. right? So it's easy to tune out and read a book or, you know, tune out and go Watch on Facebook TV, or whatever. Go so it is a fair bit of fear for people, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It definitely is, especially if um, you have really big dreams, really big aspirations. Mm. That's just too hard for some people. It's easier just to think, this is all I own, this is all it will only ever be, right? Work my nine to five job. That's how it is. I'll just do like what everyone else does. And then there's some of us in this world that are like, no, no, I don't want that. I don't want to settle for that. I want to go bigger and better. That's right. I want to be. I want to achieve my full potential mm-hmm. and be the best person I can be and help you become the best person you can be. Yeah. So that's exactly where Jazz and I come from. Um, we know there's a lot of potential for all of you guys, for all of us, and um, we just want to make that Yeah, happen. like we haven't reached our full potential yet, and yeah. part of that process is actually doing these videos help um, and you helping guys. you guys out. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. So we have a cool model to show you. You just want to grab the little diagram. No, it's over there. <laughs> On it. Uh, so this is something we put together, makeshift. Do you want to bring it a little bit closer so they can see? Mm-hmm. A little bit up, a little bit. Um, a little bit of a makeshift of how we can explain it. So over here is your potential. This is your vision, your dream, where you could be the other side your of the Grand Canyon. Your ultimate goal. Yeah, yeah. Over here is you, though. Mm-hmm. So this could be like, you know, it keeps moving. It could even be like way over here or it can be like up closer, right? But right now, this gap here is your fears and your challenges. And it's too mm-hmm. far, right? Like if you had to cross the Grand Canyon with no tools, that's kind of what it is. You can't jump it, you would fall in, you know, it's too big. Um, so how then do you close the gap and how do you make yourself become your true potential? I always think there will be some kind of gap because as you grow, your potential grows as well. Um, you know, I don't think you can ever win at life. And when you think you've reached your true potential, that's when you start going backwards. Yeah. So there's always going to be a gap. There's always going to be fears and challenges. And I think the sooner we accept that and realize that, kind of easier it might make it yeah that's right just because you procrastinate on something um or don't think about it and ignore it ignorance is not bliss Mm. it's always going to be there so that fear and that challenge that gap is always going to exist as long as you as long as you let it exist yeah um if you start taking steps towards achieving your full potential those will eventually um dissipate or get smaller yeah as you go along like it's so true about um you can't just keep ignoring the problem forever. I was listening to the radio yesterday and it was this um, thing about these two nurses that worked together. They had this big falling out. They then went different pathways to different parts of the country to work in different areas. And then they um, had this big special nurses um, seminar, right? Um, but And then there was 10 people out of the whole country that got their 10 top nurses and they had to be split into five small groups of two. And guess who two nurses got put together? So like you can't just avoid the problem forever. You can't avoid the fear and the challenge forever. So you may as well face it and get closer to your potential. That's right. So if we bring this back up, I'm going to walk you through a little bit. So I want to use like, I guess like a real life example. So this may be like where you are now, you're just starting out your business, but you want to get here. You want to have your business turning over a million dollars, right? The gap is just too far. There's lots of fears and challenges in the way. Um, The only thing that you can do to get there closer is by slowly closing the gap so you start slowly just taking a small step towards it then you face the next challenge then you face the next challenge after that and the next one after that the next one after that until you're there right um a really cool way it was put to me it's like if you have a fear of dogs right or you have a fear of heights um for example the fear of heights you're going on this big flying fox right so the first step might be just putting your hands on the ladder all i want you to do is just put your hands on the ladder The next thing, okay, let's just take a few steps up the ladder and see how that feels. Okay, so we take a few steps up the ladder. Let's go to the top of the ladder. I'll do it with you. I'll climb up this ladder that's next to you. So climb up the top of the ladder. Okay, let's just sit here on the platform. We don't have to go down the flying fox, but let's just sit here and see how you feel. Cool. So then now I'm a little bit closer. I'm feeling a little better. How about we just sit on the edge and you've got a harness. You're completely safe. Let's sit on the edge and we hold on to the flying fox. 
-hmm. Okay, so now do you think that you're ready to just fall off the edge and I'll hold you? So now they're just hanging off the edge onto the flying fox, they're hanging there and you're holding the rope and then you can let the rope go and they go down the flying fox, right? So that's an example. You have a fear of dogs, you hate dogs, something happened when you were younger, you got bitten. Um, you know, so then maybe um, you've been avoiding this dog that you have to walk by every time to work. So then eventually the first time I might be walking past, you see someone else walk past it, right? You see someone else stop and pat it. Um, next time you walk half past it and then across the road and avoid it, or um, then you walk past it with a friend completely, then you walk past it by yourself. Next time you might touch the fence or you might touch the dog and then as soon you're patting the dog and you're playing with the dog as you walk to work, right? Um, so it's just like that in business. Yes, closing that gap. Um, and also too, part of that is finding the most efficient and quickest route from A to B. Mm -hmm. um, because if you spend all of your time walking around the block to avoid the dog mm -hmm. every time, you're never yeah, really going to cross the dog's pathway and be able to um, bridge that gap there. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's something else that's pretty important is um, trying like to find that. ways of avoiding mm -hmm. the gap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Avoiding growing. So in a business sense then, Nicole, mm -hmm. how can we start bridging the gap from where we are now to where we want to be? Um, talking to other people is really key. Doing our own personal develop personal growth. Um, you jump, jump in whenever you have something to mm -hmm. offer too. Uh, I think like if there's someone that's really annoying you, you don't want to talk to them or a staff member that's an issue, you just have to do it. You just have to talk to them to get through that. Tackle and face difficulties. Yeah, yep. definitely. Even when you don't think you're good enough or you don't think you're weak enough, um, you've still got to do it anyway. Yep. We all have our own insecurities, but those insecurities limit our true potential. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. And if you're focused on you know, your potential over here and you've got your vision set to there, these problems tend to become smaller and smaller or appear smaller and smaller as you're growing and getting bigger and bigger. So what once seemed like the scariest thing in the world becomes like not so scary once you reach a certain point on your journey. So if you're halfway, everything that seemed very scary back here, not so scary anymore. And when you're, you have to face it again, you yeah, can. Yeah, and it's a lot easier. So mm -hmm. um, definitely, and persistence, I think, is a big one. Yeah, commitment, in resilience. Commitment, oh, all those resilience, awesome things. Yep, yeah, and persistence. And it's just not giving up when it gets tough because um, you're not going to be able to grow. Yeah. And yeah, that's the foundation to everything. And to be able to be successful, persistence, facing challenges, um, growing yourself as a person and, you know, planning out where you want to be and how you're going to get there. That's all success is. Map it out. Very simple. Just take the steps you need to take and don't yeah. be afraid to. Yeah, mm, definitely. I like that. Cool. Signing out. Let's talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, wait. If you want more on this and more help with mindset and more help with anything business related, even if you want to directly ask us a question, because we've probably been through what you're going through before, send us a message on Facebook or via the website www.ptcentral.net.au or www.pttrainingplans.com. Bye.